Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. In our Halloween special, we're going to be previewing some of Queen Anne's County's most scariest warrants. Christopher P. Stauffer, arrest warrant for second degree assault. According to the application, the victim stated he was attending a party in Chester in May of this year. When he left the party, he was attacked from behind by Stauffer. The victim states that he sustained two black eyes, a broken nose, and kicks to his ribs and arms. Christopher Stauffer is a white male. He's in his 30s. He's 5 foot 8 inches tall, 155 pounds, with reddish hair and green eyes. He was living in an apartment in the Stevensville area. If you have any information about this person, you're urged to contact local authorities as soon as possible. Robert Lee Hamilton failed to appear on a serious traffic charge from 1998. He's 69 years old, 5 foot 10 inches tall, 135 pounds. His last known address was on Postal Road in Chester. These next two people are scary and parents, you need to be aware. These are sex offenders. Raul Gonzalez, 58 year old male, 5 foot 7 inches tall, 160 pounds. At the time of the offense, he was living in Kent County. He's wanted for failing to register as a sex offender. His last known address includes Illinois and California. If you have any information on Mr. Gonzalez, any information at all, you're urged to send us a tip or give us a call. The next sex offender that we're looking for is Kang Chai Tejoy, now 37 years old, 5 foot 3 inches tall. 120 pounds. In 2004, this guy lived in the Crumpton area, then went back to Thailand. He has a scar on his forehead, a tattoo of clouds and a sun on his right arm, and he's charged for failing to register as a sex offender. It's time we take that clouds and sunshine and put that behind bars. This guy changes his profile all the time. You know why? Because he knows law enforcement is right behind him. Who knows? We may be showing up at one of those CMA awards sometimes. James Lois Hessel. Some people masquerade as someone else at Halloween. This guy is trying to be someone else all the time. He's 45 years old, 6 foot, 198 pounds, brown hair and green eyes. He had an address at Chestnut Drive in Elkton, Maryland. After working as a defunct car dealer in Chestertown, Helsa was charged with passing bad checks. When the court date neared and he fled, eventually he ended up in North Carolina. This guy's a bass player in a southern rock band called Carolina Rain. If you have any information, you're urged to contact local authorities. If you've been to one of his shows, let him know he needs to do the right thing and turn himself in. Hey, you never know, he might make TMZ. Erica Renee Fitzgerald, also known as Erica Elias. She's wanted on a violation of probation charge for possession of cocaine in 2003. At the time of the arrest, she was living in Chestertown. She's 36 years old, 5 foot 7 inches tall, 130 pounds. She could be in the Baltimore, Maryland area. Orlando, Florida, or Medina, New York. Any information you have on her whereabouts, you're urged to send us that anonymous tip. James Owen Harvey. At the time the warrant was issued, he was living on Main Street in Chester and Phyllis Court in Graysonville and working as a forklift operator for a stone company. After failing to appear in court on a second degree assault and theft charges in May of 2005, he left the area returning to his home state of California. Harvey is now 45 years old six foot 170 pounds with brown hair and blue eyes it appears that he's now living in the san diego area of california if you have any information about his whereabouts you're urged to contact us as soon as possible or local authorities tiffany renee frost she's a 28 year old white female five foot six inches tall 150 pounds brown hair and brown eyes she's wanted for failing to appear on an assault charge in 2009 she's from columbus ohio Records indicate addresses in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Richmond, Virginia. She's got prior arrests in Oregon, Florida, Ohio, and even here in Maryland. Any information about her, you're urged to contact local authorities. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.
With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.